A Amity, this is yarn that you're looking at. We are with Roger and Kathy, the sock peddlers. The amazing thing, you're talking about cold weather, bad weather, they make socks, hats, all sorts of great stuff to keep you warm in the cold weather. And one of the things, Kathy and Roger have been doing this, they have a store. Kathy, where is your store? We have a store in Lakewood, Washington. And you can, you, we were talking before this, I can come and make a pair of socks there. Yes, yes, come and pick out your yarn. You can do hand socks, you can knit by hand, or you can come in and um, learn to knit socks and we'll spend about a half a day with you and you can uh, walk away wearing your own socks or they're ready to be wrapped and you can give them as a gift. So it's something that you'll feel really happy about because you've made it special for someone or yourself. And this machine that Roger's working on right now, how old is it? It's over 100 years old and it is a Laguerre um, antique. It was our first machine that we um, got for a circular sock machine because we just had so much fun teaching kids and adults um, to knit and we needed to knit more and more and more hats and socks and hand warmers. So we started with um, the circular sock machines and we are still having a lot of fun with them. Everybody can do it. Um, kids can do it. Kids love to crank. They love to watch the counter. They love to watch it go around, adults. Um, so come see us at the shop. Come see us here at the, the Tacoma Dome today and tomorrow and we'll be happy to demo the machines and let you have a try this is i mean so i can come in you, amity michelle you guys can come in and amity your two little kids you can come and make some socks or hats at their shop and you could also and the fun thing is we were talking kathy's a teacher is a third grade teacher now but one of the things is the dexterity that this teaches and so you know the machine using that but they also do some hand stuff and what are some of the benefits for little kids to do this you know learning to knit by hand um, is hand-eye coordination and we love to reinforce the math skills of counting counting by twos and threes and just that repetition and then it build, builds a sense of community so with with kids and knitting you can get that feel good um, finished project and with the machine it finishes quickly so it's a it's a project that that's not going to linger around and you just feel good about it and a lot of your you have a ton of local people that you deal with for your yarn for your your materials and then you guys are obviously local as well i mean that's a very fun part too right so you can knit with us at the stillicum historical museum as well but we um we love to try new yarns so we knit with wool and nylon a lot because it's machine washable and dryable and also we have non-wool products um, but we brought the fingering weight yarn because it goes through the machine really nicely, but our shop has lots of yarn for hand knitting too. But um, this yarn here is from Manos del Uruguay, and we, we've, this is a new yarn to us. It's super soft, it's strong, it washes, and it's from a co-op of 13 um, co-op of women out of Uruguay, and they are actually the artisans that own the company. And each skein of yarn that you purchase is signed by, by the actual artisan. So it's very special to buy this yarn and knit socks with it. Very and, cool. Yeah, and then we have Cascades locally out of Seattle and Scassell and Plymouth from the East Coast. So we love to try all kinds of yarn. This is just... Um, from the East Coast. Incredible it, to it, see this, totally, Doug. Look, look I just, how long this has gotten. Just, yeah, exactly. Just, just well, while we've been talking, right? Yeah, I mean, amazing. And, and what you're looking at on the bottom, the green, is just the waste yarn. It's how we start projects on the machine. And then you can see the project yarn, um, the blue and green coming through. Awesome. All so, right, so Doug. Amity, Michelle. We are at, we are at a time. You got to check it out, the sock peddlers. And it's on Facebook. Oh, oh awesome. Doug, I hope you get some nice warm socks. Um, but that's so cool, especially about the yarn.